गाइस माय नेम इज दीपक मेहता एंड दिस इज माय आईफोन एक्सआर व्हिच इज रनिंग आईओएस 15 एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी शेयरिंग विद यू सम ऑफ द लेटेस्ट ट्रिप्स हैक्स एंड व्हाट आर द मेजर अपडेट्स ऑन आईओएस 15 सो लेट्स डाइव इन So one of my favorite features of iOS 15 is scan live text. So you can now scan text from a document or a photo from your iPhone and share it with via any apps with your friends. You, to do this open the camera app and place a document right in front of the camera and you will see a square icon on the bottom right corner with three lines inside it just tap on it and that will select or highlight the text inside and you can copy share um this text with any of your users um or by any apps or you can also go to photos app and open a photo and click on or tap on the same white icon with three lines inside it and it will ha- again highlight the text and you can either copy translate or share yes so translation is another big feature in iOS 15 and you now get ability to translate text from any app inside iOS 15 and you can share it with your friends or family moving on this new trick you should all be aware of so now you get the ability to drag and drop pictures text or links between different apps on iOS device so for example uh, i go to the web browser and i have few images i can pick and select these images and drag and drop them inside my photos app so how cool is that I don't waste time in in downloading and then uploading. I can just quickly drag and drop. With iOS 15, Apple has expanded FaceTime to non-Apple devices as well. So once you log into the FaceTime, you get create a link and that link you can share with Android users or Windows users and all of you can join in the same FaceTime. Yes, this is big. The other one is you have now portrait mode inside your face time so portrait mode was only available in the camera app that was kind of my favorite but now once you're in in the face time you get a icon on the top uh with your image in it and then you can click on that icon and you get the power of portrait mode inside face time talking about the changes safari has probably gone the biggest design change in years So now the search bar is not on the top but it's at the bottom within your thumb's reach so it's easily to get to the search bar the second change so you swipe to the right and you can quickly browse through your tabs that are opened on your safari the third thing is you can now group the tabs together and create like a work profile tab and have your work related web browsing pages inside it like stock market um and your work related web browsing pages and similarly you can create one for your home and have netflix amazon prime and your home web browsing related tabs so it gives you quick way of sorting through your uh, web pages in ios 15 you now get a focus mode which is kind of an enhancement to the old do not disturb but with this you get ability to create custom do not disturb profile and you have some time to focus on what you're doing so to do this go to settings focus mode and then select the plus icon and here you can either choose the pre-built templates like fitness reading i'll just choose fitness for example and i can allow specific people to disturb me during this period or i can allow specific app to send notifications and also the same rules will be synced across all the other the, all the other apple devices that i have schedule notification summary is a small 
but really really handy feature that is available on this iOS 15. So now instead of getting distracted all day long with your iPhone notifications, you can schedule a summary to be delivered at a specified time of your choice. And this makes it easy to manage your notifications. So to do this, go to settings, notifications, and you can choose which apps you want to limit the notifications from and bundle these notifications together and send it, schedule a time to send all these notifications at one go. So I only allow notifications to come in twice in the morning and in the evening. It makes you, it, it really helps you focus on the things and not getting distracted away by notifications. So just go and try it.